All right, so I know I've uploaded uh, like three or four videos here, all sporadic, all a couple minutes long. Um, but things come. And, you know, we've given enough attention to, in my opinion, would have been shitty YouTubers. Um, and sometimes I like to certainly shout out and, and show someone that I like because it's hard to find good YouTubers. It's hard to find people that aren't forcing what they're trying to say and so originally this guy angry crypto guy he was in the donation pool um he lost just like everybody else and he did a video like yesterday the day before saying how he was kind of pissed and he wanted to see some proof and shit which is completely understandable put up the trade logs all the shit um i like this guy i i and i think um angry crypto if you see this video you should continue on a little YouTube path, but I warn you, uh, it's not all daisies. Every rose has its thorns, that's for damn sure. But let's go ahead and have a little watch party, shall we? Okay, this is a follow-up video pertaining to the CryptoFace BitMEX donation pool. CryptoFace uploaded two videos today. One, where he's saying that he's going to... Uh, Give us a choice. Give us a voice like we had said. Or like he originally had said in his first videos when he solicited the, the donations. And uh, giving us a choice is a good idea. I, I should have probably just gave it all to charity, but it's cool. He voted for us to give it to charity. When I go to the survey monkey, um, it's about every two vote, every one vote for the charity. There's two votes to do to split it in half and do a random drawing. But I like this guy. I want to give this remaining money to charity. Like, I really do. But there are a lot of these people are from all around the world. And we might be a little spoiled in the U.S. Ever since I did this video where I raised money for this kid that got, was about to get in major trouble with his parents. I've been every day, well, every other day at least, I get a message from a couple people asking to like for me to do a donation raise video for them. So... Maybe doing the half and half raffle to split the remaining amount left. Hopefully it goes to someone um, that could maybe use it more than others. And so, um, but let's keep watching. Um, also, he uploaded a video about um, the BitMEX... Uh, trading logs and i personally i don't understand that that's why i gave crypto money uh crypto face some money because uh i don't know how to work bitmex bitmex is a foreign language to me that's fine so um dude's real you know he's showing his he's showing his card showing everybody what he did and uh i commend him for that that was uh was the best move he could make thank you and, um painful uh i posted a video yesterday i you know i hope i don't misconstrue anything i didn't call him an outright scammer i actually said i don't think he was trying to scam anybody i think he just got over his head maybe with the trades and mostly because of uh the winkle boss twins, say that. that whole thing with the etf and i, I get that but, you know for shit sure that happens. what are you gonna do that was the big blow but um I didn't directly call him a scammer in case anyone's misconstruing anything I mean, I am from one of the five boroughs of New York where, uh, you know, back in when I was a younger, shit, everybody was a scammer. Um, my, my guard is up all the time on, on things. I just assume everyone is up to no good. I'm gonna, I got a million stories. If you could send me your P.O. box, I want to send you a mug. About that. But, um, yeah, see, you know, like I said, my guard's up, you know, this... This whole look, uh, this is uh, this is defense mechanism. I clean up pretty damn good, but the look I have now is keeps people away from me on the subway. <laughs> keeps people from asking me stupid questions. You know, keeps the idiots away. I ain't scared of shit, but I'm getting too old to fight. You know, I get into a fight like once a year over by the Port Authority. Usually, your freaking armpit in New York, just shit all over there. I don't know what this mayor's doing, but. Luckily, I, uh, I'm out of the city today. I got home from work a little early. I live in the <laughs> suburbs. I cannot live anywhere near Man. 
This is the year. This is exact type of. These are the type of people that want to do their own thing. These are the people that are in crypto. There's there's all kinds of people in it, but I don't know. One of those five boroughs. This is a borough. Way better place to live. Way better place to raise your kids. It's like a nice place, man. Gives you a little stress relief from all the crap. New York is a. Uh, it's an interesting place. New Yorkers get yeah, one really more person come off. up to me and ask me. What they all lie. State you know, I remember there was one time. Um, I was in Vegas actually, and uh, I wanted a a hot dog, and I was like, "But I like real hot dogs, like big city red hot dogs, Chicago all beef, a real hot dog, not some fake shit." And this dude's like, "Yeah, the hot dogs are good. I'm from New York. The hot dogs are good. I'm from New York." Or the hot dogs, Oscar Mayer wiener shit. Man, that pissed me off. That that gave me a stitch on New Yorkers. Is and. Fucking holding a smartphone. Next person that does that, I'm freaking using my own Metro card and swiping you through and sending your ass to the Bronx. You're going to Yankee Stadium. No Empire State Building for you. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this is a follow-up video. It's my second YouTube video. Uh, giving uh, Crypto Face um, props for doing what he did. Thanks, man. You know, I'm, I I do like the guy. Follow, I've been following him for a while. Six months, like I said before. It's a long time. I made money with him. Damn. You know, I wasn't worried about losing the money. It's like making a bet on a horse, man. Horse comes in last. What the fuck you going to do? <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> Fun ride. Interesting to watch. Um, him, he, he, Crypto Face himself is interesting to watch. He's a entertaining, crazy motherfucker. So are you. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not trying to bash him. I wasn't actually in, in initially trying to blast him. It was basically uh, I want some right. answers and shit. He gave the answers up today. You know, if, like it or love it, that's what it is. You know, you're gonna get. You know, maybe you get something if it, if it goes the other way. When he if people vote for a uh, a prize or vote for charity, um, I personally voted for the charity, which is you know, <laughs> that's cool. I but, voted um, for the charity too. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna. I might make a few more videos. Somebody said, "Hey, man, you should make some videos." Whatever. I don't know. Like it. Subscribe. I got five subscribers. <laughs> rolling, um. Yeah. Let me know what you think. I'll tell you a quick. Um, what I know about YouTube. Um, in the beginning of your channel, you want to do a video, at least one video every day. Five minutes is like the sweet spot. Boom, just like this. Uh, five to seven minutes. And there is like a special thing at 10 minutes. But as long as you just do one video a day, you already got the crowd. Your algorithm's already sunken in. Um, so, yeah, you're going to be fine. Talk about Just be yourself. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. The mayor. Um, it doesn't have to just be about crypto. And that's something I picked up from Craig Grant. I remember on one of his videos, his best advice um was don't just show yourself doing uh crypto stuff you know but uh yeah man so check this guy out angry crypto guy i like him <laughs>